seeing monsters at your window. No, you can't sleep, you pretend though. You don't have to play the hero. Cause I got you like you got me. When the earth shakes, when the bombs scream, <laughs> the last breath, every heartbeat. Ah, it's so nice. It's right the head. <laughs> Good morning everyone. It is super early, first light. Jackson and I are in the boat. We're just dropping it in right now. It is looking absolutely glassy and beautiful. We're on a bit of a mission today, so we're gonna send it out there and a little bit later on, I'll tell you exactly what's going on. It should be a bloody good day. I'll see you out there. G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. It's just gone dead glassy. Jackson and myself are out in the boat. It's a bit of an interesting one today. We have a bit of a mission to do. So what's going on? There's been a cyclone that's passed through the coast and it's just dropped a whole lot of rain inland. And just up the road from us in the next town, it's actually flooded. And there's only one real road in towards us and there's two food trucks that come a week. At the moment, right now, the road is just fully flooded and damaged, so there's no traffic coming into our town. There is one way, but you have to really dog leg to get here. So we've just been told that there might not be any food trucks this week, and we're gonna catch our food for the week, hopefully get a few fish in the boat. The conditions are absolutely perfect. It's been a while since we had the dad bod in the boat. How are you feeling, Jacko? Good? <laughs> You're stoked, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Good to be out here. <laughs> Wait, I think it's clear. Like the proper boiling. We just found a spot. We got one hit on the rod, but it dropped straight away. So we're going to wind this in, and uh, Jackson's just going to drop me in. I'm going to scout it. It looks so blue and beautiful in there. Hopefully, we can shoot a couple of fish. I'd much rather spearfish than fish, especially when it's blue and clear and like this. Targeting sort of Mackies today, I guess, because we want a bit of food. Mackies is one of the funnest fish to shoot. One of the main reasons why I really want to get in the water is because we finally got some YBS min samples. We have been working on these for a long time. We didn't want to release anything, but... Woo! <laughs> check out, check out. <laughs> I'll let you know. Beautiful viz. It, it is so clear. I hit it pretty high, but might be able to land it. Could go a second shot with the 1000. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, 
That's exactly what I come out here for. A big Spanish mackerel. Oh, that was a up and down battle with them. Whew. On the first drift, actually, I'll just quickly get this guy in ice and I'll tell you exactly what happened. There's still so many Mackies, Trevally, sharks, tuna, and everything just surrounding the boat. There's bait everywhere. Oh, that was up and down with that school of Spanish mackerel. Probably about 20 to 30 big Spanish mackerel. That was probably one of the smaller ones in the school, believe it or not. I reckon I've seen some 20 to 30 kilo specimens in there. On the first drift, I seen them come in, but I was waiting for Jackson to get in the water. I wanted to be safe with it. Um, since it's just me and him and they come right underneath me there were cobia and oh it was just amazing we did a couple of drifts and i spent a little bit of time on the bottom and as i was coming up they come in again underneath me i've got the bigger gun jackson only had a thousand i had a 1200 so unfortunately i didn't get a shot on them and then just that last drift i hopped in and boom they were at my feet went down shot a little bit too high i thought but i actually shot kind of good it went through the top in the gill plate and that would have been a holding holding shot but when i started seeing those sharks getting around the cold for jackson in with the second shot swam back down put it straight to sleep got her up got to the boat you bloody beauty and uh yeah i got myself a good feed that'll last me and victoria nearly all week but uh of course we want to get a couple more for jacko and his family oh what a start to the day guys i might chuck a lure around actually because there are mackies and stuff everywhere is there still fish around, Jacko? Mm. Be quiet. No, they're still behind us still, with those. Oh, over there. Well, that was an epic little dive. There was so much going on in this little area. We've just got the lure out. We're going to go for a trial while we're sort of cleaning the boat up. We decided we're going to punch to the next island and try to get Jackson some sort of food. Trouty, maybe. Hopefully another Mac. We will go for another trawl or a fish. Um, it's only 8.30, that breeze is starting to sneak in. By midday it's meant to be blowing, so we want to get our business done soon. Then we might pull in, cook a feed, get the drone up. You know how it is guys, I don't really know. But I'm stoked already, I already got my fish, so... We just pulled up to one of our dive spots, but... Oh man, it is dirty. Like, it's probably as dirty as we've seen it in a long time. Jackson's just dropping the jig down, but that is uh, green, brown, like a meter viz, if that. <laughs> Jackson's on. Not a bad run. We've hooked on a sun. We think it's tuna because we've seen him jumping, but we're hoping for a Mackie. There. Oh! Oh, oh my God. Unfortunately, we lost that guy straight away. It seems like a lot of sharks in the water just as soon as it got hit. So we pushed up a couple of kilometers. There's, look at that, there's two jumping right there. We just pulled into the islands. We're going to go for a quick swim. That breeze is coming over right now. There's hundreds and hundreds of seabirds along the beach here, making it a little bit noisy. Ah, oh, beautiful morning. It's about 11 o'clock right now, so we're gonna start steaming back. It's probably an hour or so, even more, to get back home where we launched. On the way back towards home, we just decided to pull into a bay just to check to see if there's any giant crayfish home. Jackson wouldn't mind grabbing one, so I've just dropped him off, and fingers crossed we can get one. Jackson just come out of the water with this big bug, big ornate crayfish that he's grabbed. <laughs> was that a mission? It was. Tide's just coming in right now, so Jack and I decided to pull up for one last swim before we head back in. It's absolutely beautiful right now. There's actually a couple of good sharks just swimming around there. I might get the drone up before we leave as well.
Back out at Moss Land now, the sun's gone down. Me and Jack have spent the afternoon filling the fish, washing the boat. I just want to show you how beautiful this mackerel flesh is. It is the perfect size and it's going to be absolutely delicious. So what I'm going to do is use some butter, some lemon, and we're just using whatever we have in the fridge and around home to cook up our first meal. This mackerel is probably going to be our main protein source, our main food source for the rest of the week. I do have these new YBS filling knives that I'm sampling. They're not ready just yet, but so far I'm pretty impressed with them. Vicky's making something over there, but I'm starving, so I'm going to get straight into it and chuck it on the pan. There you go. Can I try? <laughs> mm, do you want a bite? Mm. Go. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> what is that? It's a squid. Got some green shit, some Spanish mackerel. I just cooked that in butter and uh, lemon. And Vicky's mixed up this creamy cauliflower deliciousness. <laughs> The weather actually looks really good tomorrow, so me and the boys are going to head back out again, I'm pretty sure. So see you guys back in the boat tomorrow. Oh my god, they're everywhere! They're so cute! The babies are erupting, the birds are nowhere to be seen, all these guys are going to make it to the water. Is this the first time you've seen them? Yeah! Yeah, this is the first time you've seen them! Look at him go! <laughs> he's on his big journey, and he's going to make it. You can do it, buddy! <laughs> just happened as soon as we got here. They're everywhere. It's amazing how they know which direction to go. Come on buddy, you're heading the right way. It's important for them to make this journey from nest down to the ocean. It just helps them develop for the big swim and the next trek in their life. Just having your presence here is going to help with the seagulls and all that. I know there's two ways to look at it. The seagulls want to feed, but along this coastline, the seagulls get hella fed. We're gonna hang around to the very end, but hope you guys enjoyed that. Bye. There is no greater feeling. Good morning, everyone. I'm back down the beach. I just come for a quick ride to check what the wind's doing. It's on its way down, so I think it is gonna be another beautiful day out in the boat. It's gonna call the boys up. We're gonna get out there, so hang around for that. A couple of days ago, Vicky and myself did a question and answer video for the sub channel. I don't like these questions, hey. <laughs> there are so many are you dating. If you guys haven't had a chance to watch that yet, hop over to the sub channel, YBS Extra, subscribe and check it out. The links will be in the description. Just a bit of an update or more information for you guys about the problem up north with the flooding and the cyclone. You guys are probably wondering why it's amazing weather. Well, when a cyclone passes through, it's always beautiful on the other side. Obviously, there's still food in town. There's no way that we're gonna run out. Things like chicken, fresh vegetables, and a few things like that, there's nothing in the shops, but it happens a fair bit. It's all good. So the trucks are actually gonna do the big dog leg around, which instead of taking, you know, half a day, is gonna take like 20 or 30 hours. I'll see you guys out in the boat. Semi, Jacko Strider, and myself, we're out in the Sea Strider, and it is bloody beautiful right now. We've been punching for about an hour. We're pretty much halfway. We've got a bit to go. We're heading out to the remote islands today. It's absolutely magic right now and we're gonna just keep sending it that way. <laughs> I have a plan. Well, kind of a plan today. We made YBS lures, and what I wanna to do today is I just wanna catch as many fish as I can on these, and that's pretty much it. They are looking good. I've tried a few samples now, and this is pretty much the final product. So if today is a great success, and they last, and they get smacked, expect these very soon. Ooh, there. Or tuna or something. something with the... That's a hell crowd Oh, sick. Oh, Mackie, on the corn lure. Oh, oh I dropped that. it. <laughs> Why did I get it? No, take the corn. Oh, it's, I'm still going. Take the corn. Oh. That was sick, I wasn't even looking. <laughs> I, was I saw it out of the corner of my eye. Man, this is insane. We found this shoal with bait everywhere. There's tuna, mac, 
It's just going bananas right now. We've got the new YBS lures out. It is a product out of the Helco factory, so we've been using these for months and months. Shark Mackey! Oh, I've got seaweed. <laughs> Jackson's got seaweed. There's Mackey down there. There's Mackey's down there. Chuck it back out, Jacko. Come on, Sammy! Should I land him? Yeah, go on, land him. It's all you, baby. First ever! Go on, watch out, Strider! Sammy! Yes! <laughs> you! Look at that. Smacked that brand new YBS lure. Whoa! Right, we'll get the hooks out and get him in the drink. He didn't even have time to bloody turn the GoPro on. We only trolled 10 meters. That's a good fish. Might be a big Spaniard, eh, this one? It, it ran a lot harder than the yeah, other. Is that oh, a that's a Wahoo. That's a is it? What? Oh, it's a Spaniard. Oh, it's, it's a, a huge Spaniard. No, it's a lot. It's a... Big Spaniard. Let it run, Jago. Loosen that drag off. No, oh, nice. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> this is the crazy. first big Spaniard, the second fish ever on the final YBS samples. I tell you what, I'm already happy with them. They're just getting spanked. Come on, Jago. Big Spaniard. Oh, it's a big one. Hey, look, you can see the bottom. Are we in real shallow here? Oh. Let it uh, let it run because we don't have a net or a gaff or anything. Oh, we had to grab the tail. It's pretty much done anyway. Look. Yeah, the hooks aren't in very good. Not at all. No. Should be able to grab the tail. Yeah, to grab the tail. Ah. <laughs> Jago with a big spinning on those white ass lures. We're gonna keep this guy. Um, Woody made his misery, chuck him on ice. What a fish on the YBS lures. <laughs> oh, <he's laughs> an idiot. He's an idiot. <laughs> Why would he attempt that? I don't want to know how fast he's hurt him. <laughs> Oh, you got him. I was just gearing up to hop in. Oh, it's, it's a cod. A cod? No way. No wonder it snapped. No way. Whoa. That's beautiful. Oh. Keep him down the back there wet. I'll get the hooks out and we'll get him straight in. Beautiful cod Sammy got. Reefed us. Smacked that lure. The YBS lures are absolute fire! In 12, 12 metres right too. Right. Let's get him back in the drink though. He come all the way up from 12 metres. Do you bugger? <laughs> He's off. Well done, Sammy. <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> hey, you can't believe you got a big cod. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Wow. That's the first ever big cod we've caught on a lure, right? I never caught one. Nah. Yeah. Oh, not for, for a long, long, long time. Wow. Oh, I worked up a sweat. Imagine that was a big trouty boy. But uh, uh, it's a couple of spare speed cards. Oh, almost that one. Really? Had a hit. Oh, 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 oh. You go, you go, you go. Oh, you're right. Oh. I'll go. I'll go. I almost fell over then. 
Where are you going? This one? I don't know! Is that not? No. Oh, this is a good fish. No, a cod? No, a cod? <laughs> I feel like it could be, eh? It's not a map, I don't think. Just grab it. Oh, drop me. Oh. Spat it. I'll leave it out. Leave it out. Curiosity's got the better of me and I have to go for a drop here because we've just been getting so many hookups on this one little ledge or lump, so right now. First drop of the day. I only wanted one fish for today and I got it, this big, beautiful bar cheek cold trout. I reckon probably about five kilo. It's about as big as they grow around here. They do get a little bit bigger than this, but that's a beautiful fish. I dropped down and it's just absolutely loaded down there. There was probably about four or five of these guys this size. As I as got down, I knew this guy was probably gonna make a run to the ledge if I didn't get a good shot on him. Put him right in the cheek there, holding shot, and you have to just get straight on them or if they get you under the reef, they just go, they go absolutely crazy in there. It's no good for the fish, it's no good for your gear. So I put the power on him, but man, they're so strong, those big tails. Uh, got him, got him, wrestled him out, come up to the top, put him out of his misery, and that's gonna be my dinner for the next few nights. Too bloody beauty. Yee-hoo! Stoked. Absolutely stoked. Look at the chompers there. <laughs> oh! That feels good. How about this right there? <laughs> oh! Come on! Hey! <laughs> on ya! That's a good one! Oh, that's a good one! <laughs> well done! <laughs> Leo? Lempus? Lempus? Leo? What's your name, buddy? Hudson. Hudson? It's so good. So much better than we're doing. Yeah! <laughs> 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 what a hell of a little session that was first thing this morning. It is glassed off even more than it was before. A little puff of wind come in, but now it's just gone so glassy. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna explore the next further on islands, a bit of a steam that way. We're gonna go for a dive, maybe try and grab a fish for lunch, maybe even a crayfish somewhere, go for another cast, probably get something on the corn lure and just explore, I might get the drone up, and it's just absolutely magic at the moment, guys, and check it out. Look at that. Woo! Whoa, it is beautiful right here. Look at that, look at all the plate coral on the bottom. Yeah, that's sick. Pulled up to an island. We're just doing a little bit of a explore around because it's so clear. Then we're going to keep punching. Look at oh. that's crystal. That's so sick. Plate coral garden, man. 
turtle. This is awesome. Whoa. Look at all the bummies. Oh, it's so nice. Woo. We just found some bombies right here. It's in about eight to 10 meters of water. The boys are suiting up. We're gonna hop in. They're gonna try and get a fish each for their dinner, but we also need a little lunch fish to chuck straight on the cooker because we are starving right now. So we'll spend, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes here and then we'll keep punching out and out and out because it is just so beautiful right now. We're just gonna go further and further. And just now I have no idea what's gonna happen. Anything can happen. We're just winging it. It was a long shot. <laughs> was it a long shot? Yeah, well. There was a bigger one there when we got him, but I don't know where he went, so... Lunch? That was lunch and it was Perfect a long lunch shot. Rise. Oh, good work. You see that? <laughs> oh. Oh. Quick little swim at the island. We decided to punch out wide and go deep sea fishing in about 70 meters. But halfway across, I found this lump. It's in 35 and there might be big Mackie Oahu on it. So we thought we'd go for one or two trolls over it. We also want to grab a little bit of bait and uh, then we're going to steam out wide before this wind comes in. It is, what's the time now? It's only 12.30, we've been out here for half a day. It's absolutely beautiful. And yeah, let's see what happens. Just hit like a ton of bricks, Jacko. It's either 10 kilo red or it's a shark. You're on the bottom. That's fish. Jeez, that's huge. This is gonna feed your family, Jacko. Think of oh. Isla, think of Stevie. Think of Stevie, Jacko. <laughs> Come on, Jack. She needs food, yeah. She needs food. All right, so Carla. What is it? Is it a red? It's a trevally. Oh, is it really? It's a huge trevally. Oh, <laughs> you said you wanted to catch it. It's a monster big rubber lip. A big, a big trevally. Go and chuck him in. See ya, mate. Tell all your big red emperor friends. Yeah, yeet him. Woo! Off like a rocket. Good work, Jago. Oh, <laughs> now you catch a big red emperor. <laughs> Let's go again. We'll go to a different spot now, but. Woo! Good fish. On the jig, hey. Yeah, about 20 off the bottom. We weren't ready for it, didn't have the GoPro, but it just got loaded up. Buzz! That's sick. It's so much more rewarding catching a fish on a jig, hey. I think it's a pretty good fish. Ooh, good head shakes. What do we got, boys? Go, Ben. Trevally. <laughs> Go, <Goddamn>, Jack, Trevally. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is it? Big Rankin. Big Rankin. That's all right. That'll do. That'll do. That's dinner. Your beauty. Oh, right, Jack's got a beautiful Rankin. That's going to feed him and his family tonight. I just noticed that we've done so many miles today that I've only got 115 litres left in one tank. The other tank's good, but it's probably going to be about close to 100 litres in one, one motor to get all the way home from where we are. So I've called quits. We're going to shoot back home now and hopefully we don't run out of fuel in one motor, but it's all good because we will have the other one. It'll just be a slower trip. So I'm not too worried, but fingers crossed we get there on two motors. That wind's just starting to kick up now. Didn't have too much luck bottom bouncing. Got that one Rankin and a couple of Trevally on the jigs. That was fun. Well, let's steam back home and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Back down the beach with Strider, Vicky, Isla, Jacko and myself. This is the first Mackie that I shot between myself, Victoria, Jacko, his family, Sammy and Hannah. We've sort of gone through the whole lot within the week. There's only a couple more days. Is she on? Isla's onto a fish. So I'm just about to chuck that in. But Isla's got something. Whoa, what are you on? She's got a little shot. Did you catch a shark? Oh, you got to make sure that goes back in the water, right? When you catch it. 
a safe release. All right, well, Isla's fighting her first ever little shark, I think it is. Um, I'm just gonna chuck some fish on here. Whoa, we got fire, baby. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Say goodbye. Bye. Yay, look at that. Good? Yeah? Smack a little bit, Jacko. Oh, no. <laughs> He's dried it. Oh! <laughs> yum, yum. Is it good? Yummy. And then film Uncle Bodie. I need to do the outro. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't. Get some merch at youngbuds.co. I hope you enjoyed this episode. <laughs> and we'll see you guys soon. That's a wrap, baby. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 Why don't you finish it? What?